Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we preserve Masonic history through telling the stories of some of the unique items or antiques or knickknacks we've collected over the years. Today on the program, I have something kind of interesting. Uh, you see, about six years ago, I was digging around in the basement at my lodge, and uh, one of the things I came across were these really neat ribbons with a space for a name. So I'll show that to you now. Now what you see here is a blue ribbon, and it has our square and compass, Waukegan Lodge, AF and AM, uh, number 78 from Waukegan, Illinois. It's kind of interesting, it's dated, right? The uh, state abbreviation has two L's, I-L-L, -L, instead of just I-L. The paper in here is the same paper that came with these. I found the invoice, there was about 150 of these things um, with blank name tags on them, and uh, the invoice was from like 1926. Now what's interesting is uh, this is some uh, nice uh, craftsmanship here. There's kind of a, uh, like a Greek design that goes around the plate. And uh, of course I just kind of put my name in there when I found it um, in a uh, calligraphy way. I put my name in there. Now what is kind of cool about this, it, it's, it's really nice like it's sewn on there. There's a really cool um, bar that can swivel. It's made very well. It's made by the uh, Green Duck Company out of Chicago, Illinois. And Chicago has been known as a manufacturer of many Masonic goods and books. Uh, Ezra Cook Publisher Company, which we talked about in past episodes. But what was kind of cool is this Green Duck Company. I said, what is, what's Green Duck and what did they do? Uh, they were a manufacturing firm that started out in 1906 and 1996 they actually were bought out by a British firm and then they closed their doors in about 2004. What's kind of interesting uh, also is they produced buttons galore. Any kind of buttons that um, you may have seen those uh, uh, I like Ike buttons or campaign buttons from presidential uh, elections and whatnot. Uh, but also like in the mid 50s they came out with a full set of uh, Beatles, of the official uh, Beatles fan club buttons were made by the Green Duck Company. Um, also, they made something pretty cool in World War II. Uh, World War II, they made the clickers. Now, if you don't know what a cr clicker is or a cricket is, it was this little thing that they could use to uh, basically click a few times to let you know if you were American or if you were German. And um, sometimes they said the clicking resembled the sound of the German guns that were being loaded or whatever, so there was some confusion, but ultimately it was deemed a successful use of these little cricket uh, devices that they would hold and they would snap and click. And I'll, I'll put a picture here in the uh, video for you guys. But I thought it was really cool, a little bit of history about the company who made these, and uh, I've got a ton of them, and uh, I have made a point to give them to our new members and put their name in them when I can. Um, and it's just pretty cool. So even today, I still will, on occasion, you know, put this on my suit jacket if we're having an event at my lodge and uh, wear it with pride. So that's it. Uh, this little nifty ribbon of from my lodge made in uh, like 1926 by the Green Duck Manufacturing Company in Chicago. That's it for today. If you have something you'd like to tell a story about, Go on over to MasonicCurators.com, check out the submission guidelines, and submit your video. And it's that easy. I'll even help you. I'll guide you along and do whatever I can to help tell your story for your item. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you all next time right here on Masonic Curators.